from the absolutely ruthless tarantula hawk to a lizard with thorny skin resembling a rose bush. Here are 12 strangest desert animals. But first, thanks guys for leaving us all the great comments on our videos. In our Hidden Beaches video, we asked you guys which one you found to be the most interesting, and thank you for your response. Number 12. Fennec Foxes As you can tell by probably looking at this guy, the Fennec Fox has extremely sensitive ears. Their trademark ears can actually grow to be about half the size of their body. The smallest species of fox is able to hear creatures that hide out in tunnels underground. They're native to the Sahara Desert and northern parts of Africa and have physical adaptations to protect their skin during the day and keep warm during night. They most commonly feast on things such as eggs, reptiles, insects, and small rodents. Also known as a desert fox, these beautiful wild animals can be kept as pets, but this isn't a common occurrence. Many pet owners have told tales about them bolting off with the leash while trying to walk them. They behave very much like dogs, but as you can imagine, much more wild. These tiny little foxes are no doubt adorable, but are very likely to escape. Number 11. The Peccary These strange desert animals are often confused with domesticated pigs, and we can understand why, but that's not the case. They're more like desert hogs that can feast on strange things such as cacti, roots, seeds, and fruit. They normally prefer to eat things such as the prickly pear cactus fruit, but if they can't find that, it has a strange digestive system that allows for it to eat sharp cactus. Being able to do this makes them the ultimate desert survivor. These can be found in desert regions of the Chihuahuan Desert of Mexico all the way down to the Pampas of Argentina. The peccary digestive system appears to have an elaborate forest stomach which allows them to deal with strange plant toxins as well. This photo here shows a peccary in Arizona chowing down on a cactus and you would have to imagine if you saw this thing while hiking through the desert you might find it a little bit strange. Number 10. The Desert Tortoise Who said turtles need water to survive? There are two different deserts where these unique species live the Sonoran Desert and the Mojave Desert, which are both found in North America. They spend most of their time underground to shade themselves from the unbearable heat during the day. They're especially active after rain when they can absorb some moisture and they are known to drink water through their noses. It's hard to believe that they can survive 50 to 80 years with such little rainfall. Places like the Mojave Desert can experience only 5 inches of rain a year. They can often tolerate harsh conditions throughout their life and are quite adaptable to their environment. This is noticeable at different elevations which range from 0 feet above sea level to 5,300 feet. Desert oases such as the one found at Spring Mountain Ranch or Valley of Fire in Nevada can prove to be the perfect breeding grounds for these threatened species. Number 9. The Saharan Horned Viper By looking at the photos, many might come to the conclusion that the Sahara is a lifeless wasteland. But this certainly isn't the case and is home to a unique and somewhat creepy wildlife ecosystem. Possibly the most intimidating looking snake makes itself home in northern Africa and its horns are coming out of its head almost like the devil himself. These horns actually protect their eyes while they're slithering through the Saharan sands and are quite aggressive. This nocturnal carnivorous creature feasts on things such as rodents, birds and lizards. It's amazing to see how animals have adapted to the harsh climate of the Sahara Desert which can result in an alien like appearance. The ancient Egyptians often used the horned viper in their artwork. Some even claim that this was the type of snake that assisted with Cleopatra taking her own life. Number 8. Ring-tailed Cat It's not a raccoon, it's not a lemur, it's actually a ring-tailed cat who's native to arid regions of North America. This strange cat-like creature does come from the raccoon family, isn't even a cat, and is actually omnivorous. It's basically like a wild desert raccoon that's rarely seen during the day. Sometimes referred to as a miner's cat, these creatures often have as many as 14 to 16 white and black stripes. These nocturnal creatures come out to prowl at night when most desert creatures do in order to hunt things such as insects, rabbits, mice, rats, squirrels, and occasionally lizards. But it does tend to live off fruits as well, which might be somewhat surprising. They enjoy things such as prickly pears, blackberries, and juniper. They tend to hide out in rocky crevices or hollowed out trees to avoid sunlight and are quite elusive to photographers. Number 7. The Tarantula Hawk Known for having one of the most painful stings in the animal kingdom, the Tarantula Hawk is about the size of a hummingbird and makes itself home in the American Southwest. 
These horrifying creatures aren't hawks or tarantulas at all, but giant wasps capable of delivering paralyzing stings. You certainly don't want to mess around with these guys. The way it lays its eggs, too, is quite frightening. First, it stings a tarantula and paralyzes its victims. Once the tarantula loses all ability to move its muscles, it lays a nest of eggs inside the spider's abdomen, avoiding its vital organs while it's still alive. Several weeks later, the larvae feast viciously through the tarantula's insides, which gets eaten alive in order for them to begin their life cycle. That's one savage way to be brought into this world. Luckily for us, tarantula hawks only prey upon tarantulas. This massive wasp is powerful enough to drag the large tarantula where it pleases, even while it scales walls. Many have described it as being the most painful bite, only second to the bullet ant if you're unlucky enough to disturb the hawk's nest. If you do get stung by one, researchers say the pain was immediate, excruciating, unrelenting, and it shuts down the body's ability to do anything besides scream. So watch out. Number 6. Scorpion Similar to spiders, these invertebrates have eight legs and are easily spotted with their big claws and segmented tail with a venomous stinger. These arachnids have adapted to live on every continent except Antarctica and don't seem to be in danger of going extinct anytime soon. In the U.S., these are most commonly found in the southwest states. Scorpion stings can be extremely painful but are relatively harmless to humans. Some are able to kill, but those are rare and not located in the U.S. When exposed to certain wavelengths, some scorpions produce a vibrant green light that's quite incredible like you see in this photo. There are many types of scorpions out there, but one of them that's the most notable is the Israeli Deathstalker scorpion that has extremely powerful venom. Some scientists feel as though their venom can prove to be useful to humans as well, but only in small doses. Hopefully, they won't develop into rat scorpions after being exposed to high levels of radiation once the apocalypse has arrived. Number 5. Gobi Jerboa This strange species of rodent lives in the Gobi Desert in China and Mongolia. The kangaroo-like gerbils have legs similar to marsupials, which allow for them to run at high speeds. Also like the fennec fox, they have abnormally large ears, which gives it a heightened sense of hearing and balance. This little guy's hearing is so good, it's almost like he can see sounds. This is a useful defense mechanism against natural predators in addition to their extensive hours underground. The ears also play a role in keeping them cool by providing more shade. The tail is also typically longer than the head and the body, providing a good source of balance when they need to run on two feet. It's also one of the most elusive to captors, and there's only one reported case of people being able to catch one. It's required them plugging both exits of its burrow with nets. Number 4. Chuckwallas Chuckwallas are one of the largest reptiles of the Mojave and Sonoran Desert, and they make themselves comfortable in the desert sun, unlike some animals on this list. They can be spotted sunbathing in different rocky remote deserts out there. Since everything else is hiding during the day normally, these guys prefer to eat desert plants, leaves, fruit, and flowers. They typically stay outside in the sun to warm their blood a little bit until it reaches 104 degrees Fahrenheit. They're notable for their wide bodies and kind of stubby, thick tails. They can grow to be about 30 inches long in many cases. When the chuckwalla becomes frightened, it has an interesting defense mechanism. It scurries underneath a crevice, inflating its lungs, which make it more difficult to capture. Some of these are found on desert islands near Mexico or California, but most of the time they're found in the southwest or Baja California. They typically hibernate during the cooler months of October till February and aren't in the sun quite as often. They're well adapted to the harsh conditions of the Mojave Desert and can live up to be 25 years or more. Number 3. Ostriches the two largest species of birds out there are the Somali ostrich and just the plain old simple ostrich at number one. This fascinating large flightless desert bird has extremely powerful legs which can easily knock you out with one good kick. Many believe that ostriches are close relatives to dinosaurs but gave up on flying once the dinosaurs were extinct. Researchers claim that since they lost a large amount of predators, they simply became fat and lazy because they no longer had a reason to fly. Being the largest species of bird at 6 foot 9 to 9 feet tall and weighing an average of 230 pounds, they also have the largest eggs of the bird kingdom. They set the record in 2008 for the largest confirmed egg, weighing in at 5 pounds and 11 ounces. Some estimate that this egg would cost $40,000. Number 2. Thorny Devil Dragon after taking one good look at the skin of the thorny devil dragon, you might not be sure if you're looking at a dinosaur, a real life dragon, or a rose stem. These extremely unique creatures grow to be about 8 inches in length and inhabit the deserts of Australia. If you were a predator, you'd probably be afraid to try to eat this thing. 
It appears to be in real need of some spa therapy. The skin on its body is also quite unique. It consumes water by having it seep into its skin, and all they have to do is brush up against some morning dew on desert plants to get a drink. Their diet consists of roughly 3,000 ants per meal, and they might eat up to 10,000 ants per day. When approached by a dangerous threat, it exposes what's known as its false head, which is the back of its neck, which doesn't look too appetizing either. And number one, Horned Lizard. Although this one is fairly similar to the Thorny Devil Dragon, this lizard has a secret power that they don't usually use unless they absolutely need to. It has one of the craziest known self-defense mechanisms out there in the animal kingdom. Our strangest desert animal has to be this lizard for its bizarre talent of shooting blood out of its eye socket. Its protective scales guard it from most harmful things such as ant venom, and its only threat really is a hungry coyote. When it begins to feel threatened by a predator, it actually squirts blood from its eye socket onto the coyote. It's hard to say exactly why this works so efficiently against coyotes, but we're sure if you saw a vicious zombie shoot blood out of its eyes, you most likely run away. So which one did you think was the most interesting? Be sure to leave us a comment in the comment section and subscribe for new videos every day.